What is the role of power in the friend and foe dynamic? Power is always part of our relationships. Power means that we have some control and people are trying to gain more control. The more power we have, the better the resources we get. And it could be more attention from our parents. It could be more recognition within a company. It could be control over resources like a bigger budget to spend or more, or more people to manage. Those resources were hardwired to crave. And so we're always jockeying for positions of power. Mm. And one thing that's interesting is that we know from social science, when we have some power hierarchy, there's some structure, and every human organization throughout time, th throughout history, lines up into some hierarchy, and people implicitly know where they are. We tend to self-enhance it on many levels, but we don't like to step out of line with our power. So when we right. say we think we have more power than we do, people push us back. Mm. So we're jockeying for power. Power is really important in our relationships. And we find that within a hierarchy, things can be very stable once we've figured out what that hierarchy is. Mm. When the power dynamic is unstable, we're not really sure, that's when we're likely to see more conflict mm. and less group cohesion. And we have cohesion within a group. We're able to, you know, as an organization, we can function much more efficiently, much more collaboratively. And this is why, for example, a lot of Adam Galinsky's research with, with, with others have shown that, for example, co-CEO leadership mm -hmm. doesn't work well. It's good to have one powerful person at the top so we know who's the most influential person that can then guide and coordinate hmm. uh, the rest of the organization.